Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster battle playing as uh, the Broken Axe going up against Eltharion. So, although the balance of power seems about even, our army is not particularly well equipped for dealing with this. I, I can't honestly say this is a great army. There's good elements to it, and in some situations it will certainly be good. But the problem here is that, like, they're fast units, the fast flying units. We don't really have anything that can handle them very well at all. Uh, they can just pick and choose whatever enemies they want to attack, for example, our Doom Diver catapults, and there's not really a lot we can do to stop them, especially the Knights of Tor Gaval. Those are really dangerous, and we have... We've got we've got some, like, Arachnorok spiders, but the problem with them is they're not going to be able to move fast enough to get into position to, to constantly deal with them, and then their flying units will be able to get out and constantly reposition, which would be a real pain. But anyway, let's just see what we can do. I don't think the infantry is going to be too much of a problem. I think the biggest problem is going to be I'm going to be so focused on dealing with these flying units here and Eltharion is also on a griffin that I'm not going to be able to pay proper attention to all the Phoenix Guard. Hopefully we can get a good Purple Son of Zerius down but there's no guarantee of that. It's not by any means the best um, Vortex spell in the game. But sometimes it can do a ton of damage if you're lucky if it moves in the right spot. Ideally, I like to put these here, but I mean, where is a good position in this map? Maybe I'll put the artillery over on this side here. Because what this does, by moving it onto one side, it means that the units over here take longer to get here. That's all that really does. Going to have Scarfsnake stay up the front there. I want these guys to protect the uh, the Doom Divers, but I think what's going to happen is the flying units will attack the Night Goblins first. I'm just not sure. This one here is a fanatic. I'm going to move it in the rear. And we'll check aboard this a little bit. That one can't move up. It's got obstructions. Just, yeah, just a bit. And we'll see how we go. I wonder if it might be a good idea to have, like, just a sacrifice. Put this one... No, the thing is they can see that. But they can't see it, I mean, because they stalk. Because sometimes what I like to do is put a unit off on the side just to have one or two of their units chase after it because it just... Gives me less to worry about, basically, but it's not going to work if the unit's hidden. Alright, we'll just, uh, we'll see how this goes. And we got to move super fast. I don't want to pop this down until I have first cast. But yeah, we need this first purple sun to be good, or else we're in big trouble. Just let the Doom Diver catapult shoot at whatever for the time being. Here come Knights of Tor Gaval. Straight away. Alright, we gotta get a good cast. Pop it down there if we can. Yep, let's get moving. Pop that down on them. Slow them down a bit if we can start. Okay, yeah, if Skarsnik, if you can tank them a little bit, that'd be great. See, they, they're taking damage. That's good. That's what we want. Okay, start shooting at valuable targets. Alright, so 175 kills on the first one. I really couldn't have asked for any better than that. That was great. And the... Keep shooting at the Knights of Torgaval. Like, we're probably not going to be able to take out um, Eltharion. We'll have to just try to route him. Next one over here. Hopefully that'll do okay. Yep, it went alright. Not as good as the first one, but we've already thinned them out a fair bit. Anyone coming over here? Nope, alright. Good, let's start bringing in these guys. Because we are taking some damage. We'll need to try to pull Skarsnick out. If he gets wounded, he gets wounded. It is what it is. Not to talk of almost gone. I'm going to try and get Skarsnick out of there. 
Try to bomb this area as much as possible, please. Don't let this fucking bitch in here give us too much of the shits. So yeah, don't focus too much on uh, Eltharion. He's too hard to hit. Alright, obstructed. Shoot some of these targets over here. I need to get another purple sun in there. can barely see what's going on. Come on, how hard is it to get away? <laughs> I think the battle is going really well. We just need the army loss penalty to be inflicted. Because we've shredded their infantry. <laughs> this one here just can't get him out. Fat fucking troll. There we go, gotcha. Out. No, 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 no. Get back over here. Don't let Scars, uh, what's his name? Eltharion. Get to the artillery. We have to just let the artillery keep shooting. Nope, they're coming over here. Well, Skarsnik's getting fucked. Unfortunately, he's just not fast enough to really escape that. Okay, and... Uh, pop it in there if we can. So Skarsnik's still alive, barely. Get him out of there. But yeah, he's not fast enough to outrun. Goddamn thing. Uh, okay. I can't deal with these goddamn phoenixes. Try to get him out of it. Come on, army losses, where are you? So now, their most dangerous units are pretty much the only ones left on the battlefield, but... There's... Oh god, get out of there, Skarsnik. Oh, we got this one over here. Like, their infantry is pretty much shredded. Keep Skarsnik hidden, please. It'd be great if this one hit. Yep, came back. Good, good. Part of the problem as well is that sometimes you just select on a unit. It doesn't really quite register the click, which is a real big pain. Get them out of there. Okay, one Phoenix is down. Cool. Let's try to get... There's the next one. Get him over there. And is that the army? There we go, we got the army losses. Whew. Bloody hectic as fuck. Yeah, our army was not well equipped to deal with those phoenixes. But at least we got rid of them. Can't really get rid of um, Eltharion. Uh, a lot of damage, but I don't think any units actually got wiped out. Which is always a bit of a benefit. And then we just shoot them away yeah, a bit. So yeah, the, the goblin archers didn't do amazingly well. It wasn't really expecting them to get tons of kills. And these guys here got heaps. This is why we had to protect them at all costs, because they really did their value. And these, they did well as well, because they did kill one of the phoenixes. And yeah, 286, those those spell casts were good. That helped us get the army loss penalty in, you know, just in the nick of time, really. Yeah, that's to be expected. But that was stress. That was stress. Dealing with these two... These Fucking flying units. Super strong. It was really good that these guys here at the very start lost so much health, like dealing with Skarsnik, and just were really slowed down thanks to the uh thanks to the um the river troll hag. Yeah, no units got wiped out, but fair bit of damage. Only get one percent replenishment. Um 
I don't know if you're going to get any healing out over the... Because uh, I think he's out in the water, but I guess we'll see. Let's see how the rest of this end turn goes. Yeah, he's pretty much finished the campaign. Like That's that's all us there. He's actually called the Greenskins. He's confederated so much of it. But let's just have a look at the situation and see what needs to be done. So he had already retreated, so we didn't have that option to withdraw again. We had to win there or lose everything. Luckily, we ended up losing essentially nothing, but you may have to fall back and just, um... Yuck. Don't do that. Even for eight grand. Actually, no, no, they were going to ask us for eight grand. So I believe that happened over here somewhere. Let me just have a quick look. Uh, oh, did he have the Sword of Cain as well? Uh, reject it. You're on legendary difficulty. So we had Missile Resistance for Grom, Anti-Large for Goblin Knight, Goblin Edge Missile Units. Okay, that, that was really helpful. All right, cool. So, that's where it happened. Ah, oh, look at that replenishment. Nice. Nice, that's really good. So now you can uh, attack Eltharion and finish him off. No problem. Yeah, that all seems good. Good, good, good. All right, well, I suppose disaster averted. I mean, you've still got other armies out here that you need to deal with, but your army's in... in pretty good shape considering what they just went through and his army is in terrible shape so it's it was just massive it was just so good that it was actually able to replenish here over the end turn so that you're still in good shape you might even be able to keep moving towards uh i i'm assuming you were doing an invasion of ulth one but you should definitely clear out these enemy armies here first before you land anyway that's the end of this one here appreciate all the support guys and i'll see you next time